Well, the players are ready to go. The crowd is certainly ready to go. And we are all set up here in the commentary box to see what awaits us. 40 minutes each way at this level. And if we are still level by the end of those 80 minutes, we will go to two 10-minute periods of extra time and then potentially the dreaded penalty shootout. But that is a long way away <laughs> as Crystal Palace get us underway here at Sellers Park. So you've got to go together. Zach's got to go with him. The number seven turn hit. One back by Crystal Palace and here's a first real chance. And it's the first important save from Morris in the Watford goal. It's well done from Dashi. Here's Zach Henry with a chance to advance into the penalty area. Henry goes down. Danger this still there through Beaumont. Bonsu oh. Marco at the far post. No conviction. And a volley straight at the keeper in the end, but another, yeah. another shot on goal for Palace towards Dashi. Now out to Beaumont. One final chance for Palace. Here is Beaumont with the cross in. Keeper in, pushes it away. It's loose in the area. Hit. Now Adams Coleman deflected oh. and just pushed away. Good save. The substitute Lemaire just took it off the foot of chance. Derry. This is a real chance for Elliot. Elliot with the shot deflected. Oh, what a chance. It was Henry with the volley and he couldn't find the target. And Palace now pressing with more purpose. Offside. Lemaris looked like he had just strayed offside. The flag stays down and that's nice footwork and he's into the penalty area. He's brought down and it will be a penalty. It is Zach Henry from 12 yards. Oh, good goal. And Palace are in front. And you can see from the celebrations just how important that goal could be for Crystal Palace under 15s. They've taken the lead in the Floodlit Cup final. Better. They've been, they've been, they've been better on top. Um, you know, it's about, as I always say, it's about creating opportunities, chances. They've moved the ball quite well. They've moved side to side. And then a little bit of clumsy defending. Good penalty. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Nice and firm. Yeah, there's, the, there's the pictures for Instagram. What can Watford do? Ball in is towards an unmarked man at the near post. Oh, well, dear, Palace dear, really dear, got dear, away dear, with that dear. one. Here's Notley. Long oh. range effort. Just about skipped away off the turf. Well done. Derry's done well. Now a chance to find Henry. Here is Henry. Oh. And it was very nearly 2-0. Pass. Quickly, quickly. Palace have won it back through Elliott. Beaumont tries to turn it around the corner and Lemerash can race onto that. They'll be reluctant to make a challenge because it's he who won the penalty earlier on. Beaumont's ball in is a good one. It's flicked on, off the crossbar. Lucky. You can see how tired Beaumont is and he'll gratefully accept that yellow card if it means it gives him a chance to get back well, into position. I think it antagonises the referees to add a bit more time on. Yes. Well, there goes the final whistle. Crystal Palace have won it. They've triumphed in the final. They are the regional champions in the Floodlit Cup, and you can see exactly what it means to this young side. The starting 11, the substitutes, the staff run over. They celebrate in a huddle on the pitch at Sellers Park. And what a moment in these young players' careers. They've beaten a Watford side who put up a stern opposition for this game. In the end, it was a penalty that was the difference between the two sides. Zach Henry in the second half and Palace were able to hold on. And not only have they won the regional tournament, but they make it through to the national final where they will face one of Manchester United and Sunderland to be crowned national floodlit cup champions. They're one step closer to emulating the achievements of that 2019 side. And what a night it is yeah. in South London. Mark Bright. Well, many congratulations to, to Dave Cooper and, the, and the, the squad, the players, the staff, everybody connected. It's um, huge moments for them. You know, great that, you know, you get to the to finals and you win. They, they, they're following in the footsteps of our under-15 team a couple of years, a few years ago. Um, you know, acknowledging the crowd and family, friends who have come out to watch and support them. You know, on the back of a disappointing weekend for us in the uh, in the FA Cup, it's a little, little lift for the club. And um, as you say, quite well, say go on to the national final and can we take the whole thing? Because um, there's no question that um, they've been excellent today. Very good in the first half. Watford had a real go. Commiserations to them in the second half. And <laughs> and um, yes, yeah, school friends and friends, family. 
everybody's delighted for him. Well done. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's what it's about, isn't it? You, whatever you enter, you want to win. Well, here is Mofi Jamaid, who will bring the trophy across to his teammates. Put the date in your diary, May the 6th. Palace will be in the national final, but for now they are regional Floodlit Cup champions. Crystal Palace lift the trophy at Sellers Park. And what a nice sentence that is to say. The under-15s triumphant this evening in South London. It finished Palace 1, Watford 0. Palace are the champions.